Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to. Well, welcome to. Let's. DLC Saints Row 3. Which is going to be the new. What we're going to call the. Nice vehicles. Okay, what one do I want? Oh, no blade. But yeah, we're going to be starting a new thing. Step corner continuing with Let's Play. When we go up to DLC shit, we're going to call it Let's DLC. But this will be the first episode of Let's DLC Saints Row 4. I'm going to start off with buying this motherfucker. Upgrading the three count. Oh, so we still haven't done that. Saints can't lose. And then we'll upgrade a few other things and we'll go on to do our next shit. We'll start the DLCs. You won't get yeah, I will. I mean Nightblade. Night Rider. Nightblade meant to be ripped off of Night Rider. That feels good to be in the city without villains. Feels nice. Also, I'm a missing in here. Except that one of Let's DLC. <laughs> it sounds so like cool. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna call them Let's DLC. Uh, except for like the Star Wars, because that's. We're not going to call that Let's DLC. Because there's no really much story, it's just really a continuation of story or added story type of thing. Not really playing through a different story like it is in these. This one. And she like Assassin's Creed and things like that. So I'll just be called Let's Play, unless it's like this. What we call Let's DLC. Okay, people? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oof! Was, is it like this? Is like that when I found it? Wasn't my fault. Wasn't my fault. No evidence. There is no evidence of my destruction. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like we go in the loading dock. Which we practically are in the loading dock. Like, cool. Stronghold customization. Level 2. Wasn't it? Well. Ooh. Looks cooler now, though. 10% more ammo. More transfer limit. More cash power. More spec. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then I want to upgrade, I think. Abilities. I've got all the abilities health. Build the health. Damage. Cool, we'll upgrade damage. Oh, should we upgrade that? Not yet. Not yet, maybe later. But let's start the first bit. Uh, apocalypse. Yeah, I'll start Apocalypse. Really? Congratulations! As leader of the Saints, you've been selected as this year's contestant for Genki Bowl 7. Please meet us as soon as you can, and good luck to you! Really? Thousand meters away. Oh, why do I have to fly so far? Where the fuck even is it? Checking the map. When the fuck did fast travel become a thing? Oh, that would be nice. That would be very nice right now. Dumbass game. At least we can fly. So it's taking less time than if we were driving. Luckily. Fire laser beam of death! How many missiles can we load up? A lot. Okay, so we load up a fire tire of five, but if any are up at, uh, out at one time, it something's less. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's what it looks like. 
Why would Genki be will be hold at the airport? Hold at the airport. Other mob, disengage. Please fail. System so to fit. Yeah, I can. Woman. I like that she speaks it. That's cool. The fuck? Oh, it's folded. That's. I don't know how that works. I don't know much about planes or helicopters or jets. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the craziest, wildest, bloodiest extravaganza outside of Jorez. Genki Ball 7. I'm Zach, and you all know my tag team partner, Bobby. Bobby, previous Genki Bulls have had no lack of surprises. Of the nastiest sort, Zach, and this year will be no different. Murder, mayhem, and fun are all just a big part of any Genki Bowl, and the genius man cat has cooked up an exciting list of never before seen events that promise to be even deadlier than anything we've ever seen before. Oh, hey, worse than the Grizzly Bear Rodeo from Genki Bowl 4? There is absolutely no doubt about it. <laughs> wow, I'm actually salivating. Oh my goodness. And as an added bonus, Bobby, we've just learned that the leader of the Third Street Saints will be taking part in today's festivities. Think they can keep the winning streak going, huh? We're about to find out. The games are going to begin, so let's get down there. And when I say down, we mean down. To the action! I did not expect them to look like that. Honestly, I was not expecting that, ever. I'm shocked. There you go. Here we are, Genki fans, at Apocalypse Genki! Today's match was created by Angry Tiger, putting her own spin on the classic super ethical reality climax. That's right, Bobby, and I hear there's new things in store for our mascots. I think Tammy can fill us in on that. Tammy? Thanks, Bobby. In the deepest, shot. darkest corners of the jungle lives a great warrior, protected by fierce traps and mascot bodyguards. She... Whoa, hold on there, Tammy. What are you doing? Um, reading the script Angry Tiger handed me. She handed you a script? It's and the best part's coming up. <laughs> she keeps her Ethical. minions in line through the threat of shark-infested waters. So beware, all who enter the jungle of the Angry Tiger. <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Thanks, Tammy. <laughs> You're welcome, Zach. Amazing. Sharks are a new addition to the Genki wheelhouse. It's Looks they like those mascots bad. better hope they don't fall in. They do. One's already fallen in. Wish we had instant replay on that. Where the fuck do we even go from this far point? Ooh, someone's here. This saint is doing everything right. Ethical. Ethical. <laughs> this course is about to get hunterific. Fuck me, of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Here we go. This is it's unbelievable! Every shot seems to hit something today. Cash in pocket! Uh, 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 uh. How's things behind the scenes, Tammy? I just spoke with one of the mascot trainers, and he expressed his apprehension at the new format created by Angry Tiger. These mascots have been coming to Genki Bowl for years. What has them so worked up with this match? With so many of those hired to fill the ranks of the Genki mascot army taken from the streets of Steelport, they're more used to the urban jungle than the actual one. Now they find themselves on unfamiliar ground. It's just a set dressing. How bad can it really be? Reports of malaria, yellow fever, and gangrene have been pouring in over the last few days, putting several of the mascots in the hospital for treatment. I call shenanigans on this. I definitely call when shenanigans. When a contestant is deadly with a firearm as the leader of the Saints and Genki Bowl this year, they're just looking for a way to get out before facing their impending death. Oh, I have to agree, Bobby. You know, it looks like fear is getting the better of them. <laughs> Several mascots have already lost limbs due to the gangrene zap. Better than catching a bullet in the face. <laughs> or being fed to the sharks. This is true. I bet that was a shock. <laughs> and that Fuck is the me. match. That was terrifying. And painful. Why did we do that?
Apocalypse Gank is done and done. Ooh, 51. I got like 4k. Ooh, angry tiger mask. Okay. Map. We mean more. Where are there more? Oh, I see where there is more. Okay. Difficulty medium. Okay, cool. We'll go after it. If we can find it. Oh, we need. To... Oh, Jet's right here. So lucky he didn't leave us. Engaged. Ah, uh, did we make enough? No, we did not make enough. No. Ah, oh, we should be getting close, Sheriff. Yeah. We don't really make much from the Genki one. Kind of shit. But at least we make something, which is better than nothing. Greetings, Genki Ball fans! The oh. final match in Angry Tigers Apocalypse Genki is about to begin! Here we go. I'm hoping for more mascots being ripped apart by man eating shark sack. <laughs> You mean mascot eating sharks, don't you, Bobby? Well, now you're splitting hairs. You mean fur. Oh, that was terrible. I thank you. Okay, take us away from this conversation, Tammy. Well, Bobby, several sharks are uh. actually having digestive problems with the fur from the mascot outfits. Oh, God. I guess there's no escaping the truth here. Except sharks and mascots are truly star-crossed lovers. But no what? less entertaining for the fans. Definitely not right entertaining. you are there, Bobby. Another great burst of action by the contestant. Cash in pocket! Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bobby, have you ever been in the jungle before? Oh, sure. Back when I was seeking fortune and glory as a treasure hunter. You bet. <laughs> you made your living hunting down lost Cash relics? And starting the occasional junta. Made what a lot of money that way, Zach. Sadly, most of it went to the lawyers. Did the indigenous people available. have problems with you taking what their ancestors left behind? What are you talking about? We stole the loot from eccentric collectors living in their secret mountain fortresses. We only needed the lawyers to keep us from being extradited back for trial. Well, that must have been fun. Well, you're not kidding, Zach. Trekking through the jungle with 400 pounds of gold bars? <laughs> no picnic. I think our contestant isn't paying attention down there. That's some Wasn't great my fault. I'd hate to be a mascot facing this contestant. I would too. Ah, great execution by the same. <laughs> this match sure has the contestant on their toes. The course seems to be giving this saint a run for the literal uh, money. That it does, up. Bobby. Would you say Angry Tiger's new venue may be wearing on the contestant? Not at all. They still look at the top of their game. The way the targets and challenges are with each shot still gives me that warm feeling down below. Could be herpes, Bobby. But in other news, I Probably just passed have Angry Tiger backstage, and the river of blood spewing from the broken chair leg stuck in a stagehand's neck says it all. She thought her event would be the one to stop this contestant in the end. Given how well this saint has done throughout all of Genki Ball, I'm surprised she thought it would end any other way. <sighs> Wait, now I'm being told that the stagehand spilled coffee on her and it had nothing to do with the match. If, she apparently if, 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 is quite if, if. pleased at how well the crowds reacted to her arena. Now that makes more sense to me. <laughs> how does stabbing someone with a piece of wood over spilled coffee make sense? Have you ever tried getting that out of cashmere? Probably. I suppose you have a point. Never stick oh. your finger in a light socket, kids. There we go. That's it. They did it. We basically ran around in circles for that murder in the jungle. Cool, we did it. Ooh, 44. Ah, uh, could be better. Ooh, new ally though. That's cool. Did we throw a grenade? I think we threw a grenade. Yeah, we threw a grenade. Great 
news. Professor Genki has requested that you escort him to the Genki Bowl publicity appearances. However, he can be a bit eccentric. See if you can get him all charged up to meet his fans. What do you mean eccentric? What do you mean eccentric? Do I have to kill people? I can do that. That's easy. Hello, Genki Ball fans! Zack and Bobby here bringing you some exciting Genki Ball updates from the genius Professor! That's right, Zack! We've just received word that Professor Genki has decided, in honor of Genki Ball 7, to make a public appearance on the streets hey, of Genki. Steelport! And I also hear that the Master of Ceremony will be escorted by none other than our current Genki Ball frontrunner, the Leader of the Saints! If you want to meet the genius behind the epic extravaganza of bloodshed and carnage, then head to Leather and Lace. And while you're there, go ahead and pick up a gift suit for that special someone in your life. That's all from us. We'll be back later with more coverage from Genki Ball 7. You know, I could use a gift suit. Well, bugger never had a shot. <laughs> I love this. Okay, let's go, Genki. <laughs> Genki! That was fun! <laughs> Why didn't we throw the other one? Okay, I guess he's just dancing on the street. Strange. Oh dear. Okay, we made no money from that. Uh, do we get another one available on the map? Question mark? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Tad, I couldn't expect it more than just one. Ooh, we got cash though. That's, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. If I want that. What? Huh? Okay. I guess we're mean to bullets now. Um. Okay. <laughs> That's. I, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How's that? How, how's that possible? Your presence is needed for the start of the next Genki Bowl Seven match. Why is my presence needed? Please. Created by the Genki Girl, Sexy Kitten. Ooh. Please head there as soon as you're able, so we can get underway. Why is my presence needed? Slightly confused. Why would my presence be needed? I'm, I'm just a saint. And I've won every single Genki Ball. Kinda. Not really. I haven't really won that many. I guess we're taking an AR Destroyer. I don't even know what this vehicle is. It has guns though, so that's okay. They're shit guns, but they work nonetheless. I'd rather my laser gun. Excuse me, why can't I get my laser gun? F. How do I retract the um wheels? Ah, uh, no. What the fuck? Oh yeah, this is zombie area. That's right. I forgot that this became zombie territory. But the fact that it's still zombie territory, that's kinda... 
Why? Why is it so zombie territory? When we're still making money off it. One in one doesn't add the three. Ah, oh, jump out. Yeah, it's much more fun if we jump out. Welcome, Genki Ball 7 fans, to the latest and greatest contest of guts, gore, and glory, courtesy of that crazy cat man, Professor Genki. That's right, Zach. And today's show brings with it I a like very this. special surprise. Professor Genki's very own Genki girl, Sexy Kitten, has designed a brand new game for our contestant to play. And what a game it is. It's Here a fun game. Here to more is our correspondent down on the streets, Tammy Tolliver. Tammy's probably dead. Zach. Our contestant will have to maneuver a giant ball of yarn throughout the city. Much damage and mayhem as they can before time runs out. A giant ball of yarn? Looks like Sexy Kitty definitely put her paw print on this show. Ha <laughs> and Bobby, the ultimate goal is to catch the mouse. Do that and the contestant will score big. A mouse and a ball of yarn, huh? Is something the matter? No, just sounds like my friend's bachelor party. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. You really don't, Zach. We what the fuck happened? I want to know. With the destruction and explosions our audience is seeing here uh, today, Professor Genki must be Aiken. really pleased. As the second event for Genki Bowl 7, I can't see how he wouldn't be, Zach. Sexy Kitten has really put together a great show. Oh, and Bobby, another match full of yarn and carnage. This will be a Genki Bowl for the record book, Zach. The game Another match? Certainly I'm, I'm cool with that. Their designs. And this the is fun. Head honcho is certainly going all course. Makes you wonder if they all drive around like this. No need to wonder. I've seen this celebrity on the street and let me tell yes. you, nothing is safe when the Saints roll by. Then how are they still allowed to drive in Steelport? Would you like to be the <laughs> officer who asks a Saint for their license and registration? I don't think so, Zach. Especially <laughs> given the number of times they've been accused of Grand Theft Auto. I doubt any registration would be in their name. I doubt they ever even had a license. <laughs> We probably don't, honestly. <laughs> Mission plate. Sexy kid. What? Sexy kid in what? What fuck even is that word? 3.30. So we're not making much. Ooh, we got a new vehicle though. Okay. Where's the other sec mission then? Map. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's go take it out. Oh, oh well, you should have moved faster. Uh, we need a better vehicle for what we need. That would help. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Dead. You won't be for much longer, my dude. Don't tempt me. I have a car. You do not. Oh, our zombie island's looking scrumptious. Oh. Wasn't our fault, I promise. Welcome back, Genki fans. It's Let's time go, to Yanni. watch as the leader of the Saints tears up the town once again for fun and profit. Fun is right, Zach. This giant ball of deadly oh, yarn seems to be the perfect way to cruise around the city of Steelport. But only in sexy kitten yarn gadget can you find such a mode Definitely. of transportation. Outside of Genki Bowl 7, what's your favorite way to get around? By helicopter. You aren't afraid of heights, I think. If I have to choose between getting mutilated by the drivers in this city or a carefree flight with a view, I think the choice is obvious. But what if there's some sort of uh, malfunction that causes the chopper to go down? Parachutes are a wonderful invention, Zach. And if a chute fails? Try all you want, Zach. I'm still beating you to work in the <laughs> Yes, <morning>. they are. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw you putting sugar in my gas tank last night. <laughs> oh shit! 
Bruh! How and why? Oh, we went the wrong way, probably. With all the jumping on the streets in the wake of this saint, the city's gonna hit Genki with one hefty pine. Excuse me, Zach, but rumor on the street is the mayor is quite a fan of Professor Genki. Probably. It seems doubtful any fine would be issued due to this event. <laughs> I think it's the Genki girls the mayor is more interested in. And if he wants a private interview with any of the girls, punching Genki in his pocket <laughs> oh, isn't the way to go. I wouldn't want to be the mugger who tried to hold up the overlord of Genki Bowl. I agree. Few people know this, Zach, but Professor needs to test out all of his games personally. That sounds like a must-see event. Why doesn't he anymore? Well, the cleaning crew quit after they saw the massacre he left behind. Pulling bits of mascots I out of say the air ducts and off the ceiling can't be fun for anyone. I wouldn't be surprised, but is he really that good? Have you ever seen a room full of boots <laughs> crying like newborn babies? I love a good fight. I want to see that. I want to see that. Why didn't you see that? Performed up to expectations, Zach. Right, you are, Bobby. Yankee Bowl fans Aww. everywhere. We're given a real treat here today. Yan Gaz. Really? Yankee Bowl is just as exciting. Why you is that the name? Were they? Were they? No, because we're not going to be in a ball. Okay, and it's sad, sad life. How much do we get from it though? Ah. That's better than normal. Okay, so we're still level 48. Homie unlocked. Kid and mask unlock. Vehicles unlocked. Homie yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ooh, we have enough money to upgrade. We should upgrade. Uh, damage, please. Fire. We just need four and vehicle and basically immortal. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Then we get infinite all of the ammo. Then we're we'll just a walking god at that point. Nothing will challenge us, nothing will beat us. We will kill it all. Mwa ha 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 ha. Wah. Wah. Wah, Luigi. Bitch slap. Bitch, what? Okay, we just rode him to his death. Okay. Surfboard. Wait for me, people. I want to slap you and RKO you. That was not flute. Pose. The pose has been made. Slam dunk. Yes, it was. People shouldn't die that easily. You're purple, so you get to survive. I'll see how long it takes for them to kill us with our weapons. Let's start a world war. Can't even kill me. <laughs> I love this. I'm like a walking god at this point. We are a walking god. Oh, the cops are scared. Crosses. There they are. Come fight me. Your turn. Ain't I? I am a walking god. Where did my gun go? I to drop it. Hello, gun. Piggyback! And RKO. I just want to do this for like 20 minutes. Because nothing can hurt us. What was that? 
Do it again! Ah! Oh, you shot me! It hurt a little! Do it again! Oh, it's so painful! Doesn't do jack shit! <laughs> All I need is a super flight, then I will be a god. But yeah, I think I was joining this episode of Let's DLC Saints Row 3. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Hope you guys are day night, even afternoon. Hope you guys enjoyed your digital day. Hope you guys like your digital day. Hope you guys did the best abilities. We're going to check the map one more time. Yeah. But that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye.